What's up guys? Today I'm out here on the canal here with my little brother Johnny. Say hi bro. And uh, trying to see if we can't catch anything today. The target we are going for today are catfish. You know, trying to uh, stock up the groceries for a little while. So we're going to see if we can't make anything happen. I also brought along a um, couple stuff here. I've been craving fried catfish see if we can't uh, catch anything and uh, make any dinner for us tonight. This the rig that I have on today. It's a seven knot um, hook with a little bit of sardine, and as you guys also saw, I put a little bit of garlic and tuna scent on there. And I have a Carolina rig um, with a little float. I honestly forgot the name of this rig, but basically the float is just going to keep the bait lively. And it's 20 pound. No, it's 30 pound test actually mainline going to a 25 pound liter um i honestly think that's enough but hopefully i'm not trying to jinx it uh, that we hook up on uh, some beast today Now we wait. No luck here, been here almost an hour, no bites, also no sign of uh, any bait fish, so it's okay. I'm gonna keep it up, hit up a new spot, see what we can get. Just made it out to the new spot. Looking pretty good. Let's see if uh, this spot works out better than the last one. Okay, there was a bite on this one, guys. Let's see if he commits. You know you want to, little guy. Right now, sun setting. This is the second tap. No commitments yet, so I mean, 
goes to show that right now it's just some small small catfish but uh we're really hoping the big cats come because it's about this time that they come out to hunt near the bank and uh, we're seeing a lot of signs fish jumping around this is our second tap already just a matter of time when uh, big mama comes by we got a fish on yep definitely got a bad boy on there Woo. oh man little guy Woo! Ooh, he's kind of too little. All right, all right. This is what we'll do, y'all. Look at him. I mean, small little channel cat. Let him go. This is what we'll do. Kind of too small for the catch and cook. But... We'll keep them right now on the stringer. If we get anything bigger, then we'll release this little man's. If not, we'll get a couple little chicken nuggets off of him. Get a couple chicken nuggets off of him for the catch and cook. Woo! I mean, the way he bit it and ran with this seemed like he was a monster. Oh. Get another bite, y'all. Get another bite. Some Something just tapped this. Oh, oh, I'm getting a bite right now. I'm getting a bite. I'm getting a bite. Uh, right when I'm talking with the wifey, guys. Uh, all right, all right. I'll call you back. Call you back. Oh, I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes, too. I feel like it's a bunch of small channel. We need your big, big mama. Tell your big mama there's a caf uh, a buffet. Come on out, guys. Come on out, y'all. Oh. Y'all see this? Tap, tap. Oh. It's in the strike zone, y'all, but, uh. Playing you. You have to get him. Come on. If you don't send your big mom. If we could just get another one of y'all brothers or something, that's enough for some chicken nuggets. Some, big brother. some fish nuggets, man. It's the tactic. Call the wife. Oh! Oh! Where's the phone? Where's the phone? <laughs> this is the tactic. Call the wife. Call the wife and pay attention to the rod. Huh. Oh, get it, get it. Oh my God. 
You're good. Set it. Oh. Oh my God, Johnny just uh, <laughs> I told you it's talking with the wife. All right, is it actually on there? I don't. No. 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 Maybe it's just little. I don't know. No, it's on. It's on? I think. I'm not. Is it on? Yes, yeah, on, bro. All right, we got not. <laughs> okay, Brother. okay, bye, bye. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's so skinny. Oh, wow. He's bigger than his brother. I mean, his little brother. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Woo. Woo. What a hook set. Ah, ah. Okay. Chill out, chill out. Yeah. Watch out for yours. I don't want to get. <laughs> I don't want to get pricked. Okay. What a hook set. Oh man, right in the corner <laughs> of that mouth. That's enough for two little nuggets. Okay. Look at that, y'all. Hold it by the mouth. Let me see the knife. It's on the ground. Cut yeah. up the piece. Alright. Got enough for dinner, guys. Alright, y'all. So, this is actually first. This smaller one that we caught, we're actually gonna start off with him. So first, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna clip off the spikes cause uh, they do hurt. <laughs> and um, we're really just grateful that uh, we were even able to catch these little buddies cause today was a rough day. Out here the, the evening, no luck, so grateful to even be able to get any of these little uh, <laughs> catfish nuggets so you want to take your knife I'm using a razor blade right now because my knife is actually really dull you guys can come um so just like any fillet we're going to start and we're gonna follow that rib cage or the rib cage we're gonna follow the spine Feel the spine. We're gonna follow it down. Yep. Feel spine. Okay. And just gonna keep on doing that. Just keep on cutting down against the spine. And uh Catfish is one of the most awkward fish to fillet, but it's doable. Okay, just keep on following, cut through. And uh, right now he's a little bloody because we just dispatched them. But since we kept them alive until then, we could just shake them through the water, and that's gonna basically remove all the blood. And we're gonna go down on the side, and then we're gonna connect through the bottom right here. Bam, just like that. Now the rib cage comes out. Just gonna keep on following that rib cage. Follow it down. Yep. Bam. All right. <clears throat> Follow it down. Keep on playing. There 
we go. All right. Now to skin this bad boy, we're just gonna get our knife under there. And we're gonna slide our meat right under or right over the knife. Bam! I mean, they're not huge fillets, but <clears throat> they're gonna make for a couple chicken nuggets. We're actually gonna be just using a classic uh, Louisiana fish fry. Bam! Let me open this bad boy. Okay, I'm gonna just throw some in this little Ziploc bag that I have. And then, I mean, I'm a pretty salty guy, so I'm going to add a little bit of garlic salt. Okay. Last but not least, a little bit of pepper. I mean, it's already almost empty. Don't need too much of that bad boy. Okay. Cool. And these are the ones we're going to use for today. Don't throw in that bad boy. I'm gonna mix it up. Alright. This is just a little bit of uh, vegetable oil, basically. Not too much. Alright, so, I mean, our oil is heated up. Just gotta come, drop it in. Alright, so it seems like oil is ready. Just gonna drop in our nuggets right there. We don't want it to be too hot either, so. Time's already gone by, not too long, probably four or five minutes. That's what we're looking for right there. See that? It's like a crispy golden brown. And we're ready. Just gonna let these uh, bad boys rest on here. Let them uh, dry off a little. We got our chips. Fish and chips can never be complete without potatoes. <laughs> now, I mean, it really depends on you how golden uh, you like yours. That's how I like mine. So, yeah. Get all these. Can't have no fish and chips without lemon. I'm not a big lemon guy, so... Just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay. Bam. All right, and then a little bit of garlic salt on my frog. A little bit extra there. It's the moment of truth.
this good, y'all. It's been a long time since I ate catfish. But it does not taste fishy at all. You know what? A little ketchup. Never did anybody any bad. Whoops! <laughs> it's real good, y'all. That's why I encourage you guys <clears throat> to go out, you know? Go out and enjoy your time in the outdoors. Right now, it's just me and my little brother. But it's so calm, so peaceful out here. There's the stars. It's so amazing being out here. And enjoying time with friends, with family. And you don't need anything expensive. All the gear I have. It's gear that my dad used to have. And I just got the rest at Walmart. You don't need the best of the best. To make things work. Get out there. Get your line wet. And you're going to see how good of a time it is. If you stayed in the video this long. Please like subscribe and share this video because it helps me out a lot honestly guys you know i'm starting this youtube thing but i'm gonna be uploading every single week i'm gonna be making a catch and cook video for you guys so please share it helps me out a lot other than that hope you guys have a good night peace out y'all